Joining us on Tea Time this afternoon is an actor, producer, and director. Now, I don't know if I should call him Baby D or DME or Kalama, but DME, thank you for being part of Tea Time now. Hello. Hi, Tea Time. How are you doing? Elsie? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I was expecting to see Baby D on screen. Oh, baby, he's sleeping. Oh, okay. His, um, All right. How how is the lockdown going? I mean, you've you can't work right now, uh, technically. So how is it going? Yes, um, it's been it's been really challenging in terms of just trying to keep one's mind occupied, um, especially with positive things. Uh, there's a lot of you know bad news, fake news. Um, the pressing news out there, and one just has to keep a positive mindset and not let it uh, get get to you. Of course, you know me; I'm always active, uh, so it's it's been a bit of a it's been quite interesting just you know, sitting down in one place for over a week now. Mm. So, what is your daily yeah. routine like? Ah, uh, so after the initial shock of sitting at home for two days and just looking into space. Um, I literally just started saying, okay, you know what, let's put things you know, in order. You remember that I'm also, the, um, I'm also responsible for distribution of Nollywood films and other independent movies at Silver Road Distribution. So the, the management decision was to really just figure out what can we do at this time when cinemas are shut down and then we started to work on different things. Um, so my, 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 what's it called now? My schedule for the day, wake up 6 a.m. as usual, um, take a shower, play with the kids for about an hour or two. Now I'm able to play with them properly. Um, and then by 9, 10, I start work. I work for about three hours. And then I go watch something that I've been trying to catch up on for years. I can now finally watch it. After which I go for a walk with the kids later in the day. Um, with the family later in the day, and then at night or in the evening, I go back and do some more work. Um, then at night, I go for a run, uh, and I get back home, take a shower, and go to bed. That's basically my schedule for the day, you know. So the work that I'm doing is really just figuring out what next for the business, for the distribution business, um, where it concerns Silverbird, uh, and working with my team to make sure that vision comes to life. All right, Dan. I mean, so how you doing? I guess you're. Um, I'm good. Yeah, I guess you're doing the theoretical part of your work right now. So you must miss the practical part of your job, which is acting. <laughs> so, um, what's your favorite monologue? <laughs> My, I have two really like two monologues that I really enjoy doing. Um, one is a monologue from the movie Three Hundred. You remember that movie? And um, the other monologue is one from V for Vendetta. All right, so do you want to do one of that for us? One of those, sorry. <laughs> you guys want to just <laughs> give me work to do since I'm jobless, is that it? Yes, well. man. We're just trying to let you do your well. job. <laughs> okay, great. Um, give me a second. <clears throat> In view. A humble vaudevillain veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage no mere veneer of vanity is a vestige of the vox populi, now vacant. Finished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified and has vowed to vanquish this venal and villain and vermin, vanguarding vice and vouchsafe in the vowed and vicious and the voracious violation of volition. The only verdict is vengeance, a vendetta held in glory, not as a vain, but the value and diversity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. Verily, this vicious war of verbiage bears most for both. So let me simply add, it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. Thank you. Amazing! Hey. Damn, you should pay us for engaging you. It's the other way around now. Like, we're engaging should, your mind. I should pay. 
I should pay you. Yes. <laughs> yes, now. Yes. Yes, that's a new one. That's a new one. I should pay you for acting. Okay. Well, okay, well. so if I, if I has a game, um, yes. she's going okay, to play so, with you. Um, so, obviously, we want to get to know you better. Some of us have don't have the opportunity to engage with you on like most recent works and things like that. So, I just wanted to play okay. this game with you. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's called Never Have I Ever. You're not allowed to lie. You're not allowed to hesitate. You're not allowed to pretend okay so you have to be a hundred percent honest okay. um okay so the first question and and you decide and you decide in all of your wisdom to play this game with an actor okay <laughs> <laughs> the first question and you just okay. respond with i have or i, I have haven't. not yes okay okay never have i ever been arrested i have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us what happened? No, that's not the game. The game is <laughs> yeah, I have one. Okay, 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 go ahead. Okay. Never have I ever... <laughs> never have I ever lied about who I am. Name, person, never have I ever. I, I have. <laughs> that confidence. Uh, you need to tell us about why you're lying, but okay. Next question. Never have I ever dated two siblings, like the girl and then their sister. At the same time or separately? Wow. Oh! Wow. Oh, just say you have. Just say I have. <laughs> either. Either way. I have. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I feel like that's a lie. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, uh, and then, I have you it. ever, okay, never have I ever seen a co-star naked by mistake, deliberately, you know, I have. I have. <laughs> okay. Obviously. Wow. Okay. And then the last question, and you have to be honest about this one. Never have I ever right. Googled myself. Uh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, you have it all. <laughs> you have it all. Even the two siblings, they and me, I'm you, sure you, you have You need to come on it. the show after the lockdown and come and explain mm -hmm. all of this because we, we want more of this. <laughs> good, Thank you. Good luck with that. <laughs> all right, stay safe, they and me. All right, you guys stay safe too, okay? All right. And well right. done. Yeah, Thank right? you. Well done, guys. Okay, so okay. Um, that was definitely an interesting one and I think he needs to come in to tell us how he... The two siblings, I don't trust him. You don't trust you don't him? Think I, I, I think he has. I'm happy I'm not the one saying it.